Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about a problem that some students had trouble with that came in a website. Something that I do is that I can discuss things that students don't know how to do from websites, books, anywhere in the world. Aside from the material that I give them to learn that I know have come in the ASVAP, I also help them with other stuff that they might confront uh, via websites, books that they might find. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's very important for you to try to do it. Uh, so if you're watching this recorded, try to do it before you see the explanation. Let's see the problem. Okay, so before you do anything, I'm gonna give you two hints. Uh, hint one, Hint one is going to be, think, is this problem perimeter or area? Whenever you have a rectangle, it's going to be either perimeter or area. Hint two, do I have to make any conversion? Do I have to make any conversion? What are conversions when you change from feet to inches, inches to feet, minutes to hours, uh, yards to feet, uh, ounces to pounds, pounds to ounces. Do you have to make any conversion to solve it? So with those two things in mind, now you're going to try to do it. If you're watching this recorded, press the pause button, try to do it, press the pause button, try to do it, always try, always try. So, hopefully you press the pause button, you try to do it, let's talk about it. Now, they're saying, I'm gonna give you an advice before we do anything. Whenever you have area or whenever you have perimeter, if you have area, always do the conversion before anything. If you have a rectangle and it's related to area, do the conversion before doing anything. So if you have to change, let's say, from yards to feet, you should do the conversion at the beginning. If you have area, you should do it at the beginning. When you have perimeter, it doesn't really matter. Normally, if I have area, I'll do it at the beginning. And if I have perimeter, it doesn't really matter. You could do it either at the beginning or at the end. It won't affect it anyway. When we're talking about having to do a conversion. Why am I explaining this? Because you do have to do a conversion. Because here it says feet. Here it says feet. And they're asking yards, 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 and feet. So... If it says feet here and feet here and yards here, you have to change it to yards. Now, before we do any conversion, it's a rectangular field. I'm drawing it. Make your drawing. It will help you. And it says you're marking. That is a key word. Let's, let's learn when it's perimeter or when it's area. Perimeter or area. Perimeter is distance around an object. When you go around the object, that's perimeter. When is it area? When you cover space, when you do this. Now, what are keywords for perimeter? Mark, string, rope, fence, around. Those are words that are key for a perimeter. Why? Because you're going around the object. And perimeter is distance around an object. Perimeter of a rectangle or square is going to be add the sides. When is it area? When you cover, keyword cover, you're covering space. You put grass, 
The, if you put grass inside of a rectangle, you cover space. Fence, if you put a fence, you go around. That's why it's perimeter. But if you put grass, if you paint, you cover space. If it's bricks, you cover space. If it's tile, you cover space. If you're also, also, if it's square feet, square yards, square inches, anything that's squared has to do with area. That is key for area. Square feet, square yards, square units is an indicator of area. With this in mind, now we can continue with the exercise. Why, why did I say all that? Because I need you to understand when to identify when it's perimeter area. You have to learn when it's perimeter or area. And the only way you can do that is by looking at the keywords. Now we're gonna think of keywords. What are the keywords? Well, string is a keyword. Does a string go around? Yes. So we know it's perimeter because you're doing this with a string. It also says mark off. If you're marking, you're going around. So these two words indicate it's perimeter. And they're saying that the rectangle is 46 feet by 34 feet. So 46 feet by 34 feet. This is a way of abbreviating 46 feet by 34 feet. Your, that's your length and wide, your length and wide, which could also be called 46 feet here and 34 feet here because we're gonna add all the sides. Now, we have to do a conversion. When you're getting perimeter, you can do it at the end. When you're getting area, please do it at the beginning. I'm gonna do the conversion at the end because in perimeter, it doesn't really affect. So I'm gonna get the perimeter. Perimeter is adding all the sides. When you add all the sides, 46 feet by 46 feet by 34 feet by 34 feet. 6 plus 6, 12, plus 4, 16, plus 4, 20. Carry the 2. 2 plus 4, 6, plus 4, 10, plus 3, 13, plus 3, 16. 160 feet. Relax. We see yards, 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 yards. So now the last step is going to be the part that gives people trouble, how to do a conversion. One yard is three feet. One yard is three feet. Now, the way I teach it that makes it simple, you're gonna look at the one and the three, right? And you're gonna think, this number is smaller. To go to a small number, do you multiply or do you divide? If you wanna get to a smaller number, you divide. Three is bigger, three is bigger, three is bigger than one. So if you're going to the bigger number, you multiply. So when you change to yards, you divide by three. When you change to feet, you multiply by three. In this scenario, we're changing to yards because we're changing to yards, we divide by three. 160 feet divided by three. When you divide, the number in the front goes inside. Does three fit in one? No. Three times a number cannot give you one, right? Three times one, three, three times three times one, three times one, three, three times two, six, three times. So it's zero. When it doesn't fit, three times it's zero. Now you look at the 16. Does three fit in 16? You want the maximum without passing? Three times four, 12, three times five, 15, three times six, 18. So it's gonna be three times five, 15. So it's either C or D. You lower the zero. Does three fit in 10? You want the maximum without passing, three times four, 12, so three times three, nine. When the one on the top is small on the bottom, you borrow, he's gonna give you 10, 10 minus nine, one, zero minus zero, zero, zero minus zero, zero. Relax. What have you found? You, you have the answer. The only number with 53, the only number with 53 is C. 
even if you don't know to do the next step that I'm about to do, if you get to 53, if you get to 53 yards, you're done. There's no other option with 53. But 53 and one third. And it's yards. Now, if you have trouble with some of the things we just saw in your member area, in your member area, if you don't know how to distinguish well the difference between perimeter or area, there's a video called, in your form of the videos, called Perimeter or Area Important. It is in your form of the videos. If you do not know how to do this thing that I did here in your form of the videos, there's a video called Conversions. It has a lot of examples. Check it out. And yeah, that, that's basically it. Um, could this come in an ASVAB? Yes. Now I want to recall, I want you to recall something that I said that you might have overlooked it. To make life easier, whenever they ask for perimeter and you have to do a conversion, you can do it either at the beginning or at the end. But if it's area, if the problem is related to area and you have to change units from yards to inches, from inches to yards, from feet to yards, etc., do the conversion before you get the area. Do it before. Do it before. Because if not, you're going to have to work with square units and it'll, it'll confuse many students. So when it's area, do the conversion before. Um, but yeah, that's how you would solve this exercise. Uh, there are also more perimeter or area videos in your basic concept videos in your member area and in your um, member area. This is not the first or last time you will see this. Keep practicing. Let's pass.